Resistance means hindrance to flow, making it difficult for current to flow in a circuit. The symbol of resistance is R. Resistance is measured in the unit ohms, and the shortening for ohms is the Greek symbol omega. A battery or cell stores chemical potential energy inside its chemicals. A chemical reaction inside the battery converts this chemical potential energy into electrical potential energy, causing one terminal to become positively charged and the other one negatively charged. This creates a potential difference across the battery. If we connect a continual path of conductors across this potential difference, then it will cause free charges inside that conducting path to flow. In other words, electrical potential energy will be converted into kinetic energy of those flowing charges. As these moving electrons move through good conductors, they don't experience much resistance to their flow, and so they keep basically all their kinetic energy and just flow freely. But when these moving electrons flow through a resistor, they have to fight their way through the particles in their way in the resistor. They hit against the particles that are in their way and in so doing do work on those particles. As these electrons do work on the particles in their way, the electrons transfer energy from them to those particles of the resistor. In this way, the electrons kinetic energy, some of it, is converted into heat energy of the particles in their way in the resistor. That makes the resistor hotter. And then that heat gets taken out of the resistor into the surroundings, making the surroundings hotter. In this way, some energy is extracted out of the circuit. And as a result, there's less energy within the circuit. If these moving electrons are moving through a light bulb, then some of the kinetic energy that they had gets converted into heat energy and some into light energy. In this circuit, we have a 2 ohm resistor and a 1 ohm resistor. A 2 ohm resistor is double as resistant as a 1 ohm resistor. So it extracts double as much energy from the electrons flowing through it than the 1 ohm resistor does. You can see here we have the electrons flowing through the 2 ohm resistor and a lot of energy is being extracted off the electrons, being converted from kinetic energy in the electrons into heat energy which goes out the circuit. As the electrons move through the 1 ohm resistor, half as much energy is extracted out of them and goes into the surroundings. If we use the water analogy, we can think of these two resistors like two narrow pipes, where the 2 ohm resistor is narrower than the 1 ohm resistor. And as a result of that, it's more difficult to go through the 2 ohm resistor, the narrower part, than through the 1 ohm resistor. So the most pressure is taken out of that water as it has to be forced through that narrowest part of the water circuit. There are various degrees of resistance. We simplify this as if there were two categories, conductors and insulators, where conductors do allow current to flow through them, whereas insulators allow no current to flow through them because they have infinite resistance. We can further subdivide conductors into good conductors and resistors. Resistors are poor conductors where we say that good conductors allow current to flow so easily through them that only a negligible, only so little that you can forget about it, energy is taken from the moving electrons out into the surroundings as the electrons flow through these good conductors. Examples are copper wire. Poor conductors, also called resistors, on the other hand, Although they do allow current to flow through them, so they are conductors, as these electrons flow through them, a significant amount of kinetic energy in these flowing electrons is converted into heat, or maybe heat and light energy, which goes to the surroundings. Now really, you actually get a grade, not these three separate categories. You get degrees of resistance. 
So something can have zero resistance or only a little bit, it can have one ohm, two ohm, three ohm, four ohm, a thousand ohm, a million ohm, and so on, until infinite resistance, which is then an insulator.